Good morning again, everyone. Today I'm going to sing you a book. This is a book by um, a really awesome book company called Barefoot Books. And every one of their books has a song that goes along with it and a little CD inside. And I will leave the link in, um, I will leave a um, another link to the music video for this song um, that's on YouTube so that you can all listen and learn the song, okay? So I'm going to sing just a little bit at a time so that you can get the melody, okay? So this is called Over in the Meadow. Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived a bumpy mother toad and her little toady one. Wink, said the mother, I wink, said the one. So they winked and they blinked in the sand, in the sun. Over in the meadow where the sky gleams blue lived a woolly mother sheep and her little lambies too. Ba, said the mother, we ba, said the two. So they bought and they ran where the sky gleams blue. Over in the meadow, in a hole in a tree, lived a smooth mother robin and her little robins three. Sing, said the mother, we sing, said the three. So they sang and they chirped in a hole in the tree. The lighting isn't the best out here, but we're trying, okay? Over in the meadow, in the reeds on the shore, lived a spiky mother muskrat, and her little muskrats four. Dive, said the mother, we dive, said the four. So they dived, and they burrowed in the reeds on the shore. Over in the meadow, in a snug beehive, lived a fuzzy mother bee and her little bees five. Buzz, said the mother, we buzz, said the five. So they buzzed and they hummed in the snug beehive. Over in the meadow, in a nest built of sticks, lived a shiny mother crow and her little crows six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ka, said the mother, we ka, said the six. So they called and they called in their nest built of sticks. Over in the meadow where the grass is so even lived a furry mother mouse and her little mousy seven. Squeak, said the mother, we squeak, said the seven. So they squeaked and they sniffed in the grass soft and even. We're getting more and more, aren't we? I think this is the mama right here. Let me see. This is getting a little dark. There we go. Oh, I can see it a little bit better. There, that's better. Over in the meadow by the old mossy gate lived a scaly mother lizard and her little lizards ate. Bask, said the mother. We bask, said the eight. So they basked in the sun on the old mossy gate. What does bask mean? It's like when we lay out in the sun and we take in all the sunlight. It's really good for us and it's really great for plants too because that's how they get their food. Over in the meadow where the stream water shines lived a slippery mother fish and her little fishies nine. Swim, said the mother. We swim, said the nine. So they swam and they leapt where the stream water shine. Should we count all of these ones too? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And mother makes ten, but we have nine babies, right? Over in the meadow in a sly little den lived a hairy mother spider and her little spider's ten. Spin, said the mother, we spin, said the ten. So they spun lacy webs in their sly little den. Ooh, how beautiful. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Look at all the spiders.
first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm a mother. Beautiful, beautiful. I love you. Look at all those animals that we talked about. Shall I talk about a few of them before we, before we say goodbye? Meadows are a type of grasslands. They are found all over the world, from the mountains of Europe to the plains of North America. They contain hundreds of different kinds of grasses and wildflowers. The meadow in the song is in an English meadow. The grass is left to grow tall, then it is harvested as hay. Sheep and cattle are brought in to graze on the newly mown meadows to fertilize them. They are important homes for many small animals, insects, and birds, just like we read about, right? So the first one that we read about was toads. Toads live in water and on land. And when they're not swimming in streams or ponds, they dig burrows in the sand or mud to stay cool and moist. I can't remember the order. I think we have robins next. No, we have sheep. Sheep graze on grasses after the hay harvest. They sleep out in the open, huddled together to keep warm. Robins use dead grasses, twigs, and mud to construct cup-shaped nests for their eggs. They usually build these nests in the bottom half of a tree on branches hidden by leaves. Very cool. Muskrats. They build dens by burrowing into steep banks along the sides of slow-moving streams. They dig the entrance below water, then tunnel upwards so the chambers inside stay dry. That's really interesting. I didn't know that about muskrats. Have you ever heard of a muskrat before? Maybe we should look up a picture and see what they look like. Bees are social insects living in colonies of hundreds of other bees. Their hives contain honeycomb, which is used for strong honey and raising young bees, or storing honey and raising bees. Crows prefer to live in the upper branches of evergreen trees. They gather twigs, leaves, moss, and grass to make nests where they can lay eggs. Mice nest under logs or rocks or next to the plants. They create runaway, runways through the grasses so they can run across the meadow while staying hidden from predators. That's really interesting too. It sounds like a lot of these animals are very creative and innovative with what they, how they stay um, safe, right? Lizards are reptiles. To stay warm, they bask in the sunlight in meadow clearings. When they need to cool down or lay their eggs, they seek shade under rocks and logs. So they use the sunlight to stay healthy, and they hide um, they hide their eggs so that they're safe right, in the shade. Fish swim through freshwater streams looking for food. They rest on the stream bed or hide among plants and rocks, but sleep by drifting through the water. I have some fish that are in my house and they um, drift through the water, but they don't have any eyelids to close their eyes when they're sleeping, so you have to just guess when they're asleep. They don't really pay attention when I feed them, so I figure they're probably sleeping. Spiders make their homes by spinning webs out of a silky, sticky thread. They also use their webs for catching insects. That was the, I thought that was one of the most beautiful pages, right? The one with the spider web. It's so beautiful. They're artists because they make their own webs, their own beautiful designs. So, like I said, I will put the song up on our, um, on our blog so that you can listen to this, um, the um, music video for this and see a different version of someone else singing the song as well. Um, and I really appreciate you listening and watching this video. And I will talk to you later because I love you so much. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.